How's it going Eliminators? Today we're going to be having a look at the Pella 6000 oil extractor. So let's get right into it. So I picked up this Pella 6000 oil extractor and this one is a 6000 milliliter capacity which is 6 liters or 1.57 gallons. Essentially what it is is a container here with an air pump and then it has a tube that goes out. You stick the tube where your dipstick goes and then you pump this and it puts a negative pressure so it removes air from this container here and it pumps it out through a one-way pump right up top of here and uh, it drains your oil. So if we open this up there's a little handle and then you have our one-way pump right here. So we're gonna take that handle and we're gonna thread it into the top of this pump. Okay, so we have our container here, and then we have our tube, and these are all just press fit. So you're gonna take your pump, and you're just gonna press fit that on top of that. You're gonna pull off this red cap here, and then we're gonna take our line, and we're gonna stick this red cap onto the end of there, and then you're ready to start pumping oil. So I got a 1987 Suzuki Quad Runner LT4. It's a four-wheel drive model, and normally you have to go I just got my pad there up underneath the back end to get the drain plug out of the bottom, but somebody probably cross-threaded it in because I can't get it out and it's probably cross-threaded and I don't wanna do any further damage. So I'm using my Pella pump. So normally what I would do is I'd take my drain pan, slide it under the back, and then as per the manual says, you go up under here to your drain plug, you loosen that off. But like I said, I can't get that out, so the dipstick tube is right at the back here. You guys can see it there. And this dipstick tube says SAE 10W40. So that's the oil you wanna use. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is removing that and then I'm going to be sticking the tube inside of there. Now coming out of the red cap here, it has a clear rubber tube and that goes into what looks to be like a metal braided tube and it's a lot thinner so this will allow you to get like underneath the crankshaft and right into hard to reach areas and I just have a pencil next to the end here and you guys can see that uh, it is in fact thinner than the thickness of a pencil so like I said it'll uh, allow you to get into uh, hard to reach areas so I'm gonna just set this thing up and we'll start pumping oil okay so I got the Pella here and I'm gonna start feeding it in as far as I can get it to go we're just gonna start feeding this in and we're gonna keep keep going so now it's going in nice and easy so I know it's starting to coil up inside of that bottom end and we're just gonna keep going right about to there so I'm at the point now where that steel braided line inside of there has been buried in the bottom end now we're not gonna be extracting oil until you get about 10 to 20 pumps into this thing so I'm gonna start pumping this thing up and I'm gonna go one two three four six seven and there's no pressure when you're pushing it's only pressure when you're pulling because again you're applying a negative pressure inside of this tank and you guys should start to see the oil coming through the line right about there so you guys can see a little bit of pressure on that and obviously the oil is going to flow a lot better when the engine oil is hot. So you guys wanna run your machine before you start doing this. But essentially now, because there is a negative pressure inside of this tank, we can just let it sit there and eventually this thing will start to fill up with oil. Now this oil extractor is the Pella 6000. So again, that's 6,000 milliliters or six liter capacity. This engine is supposed to take 3,500 milliliters or 3.5 liters. So we should be filling this thing up just over half. And you can actually see the oil flowing from the engine into the Pella oil extractor. So you can see that it's pulling it out. So I'm gonna let this thing sit and drain out oil. It is fairly slow, but there's really no mess to it. It's you know quite an easy process. You undo your dipstick, you stick the tube in, you pump it up you know, 10 or 20 times and that's it. It just drains the oil by itself. Okay, so now we're just gonna pump it Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
because it does lose pressure over time. Occasionally, you're gonna have to pump it again, but eventually, you should get all of your oil out of this machine. Now, this process isn't that quick compared to, let's say, taking the drain plug off of the bottom of the engine and just draining the oil out that way. This is very slow. However, it's kind of a no mess situation. You don't have to have an oil pan underneath your engine. You don't have to have rags to clean up the oil that you know gets on your hands or wherever because it's a fairly self-contained system. So after you do your initial 15 or 20 pumps, you have to pump it up about 10 times every, I'd say minute, minute and a half, because it does start to lose pressure. So if you just let it sit and you come back, you're not gonna have as much oil drained out as you thought you did, because that's what happened to me the first time. And then I kind of figured it out that every now and then you come back to it and you just give it another 10 pumps. But I'm okay with it being a little longer of a process because the main reason that I purchased this thing initially was to drain the oil on lawnmowers that don't have drain plugs. So a lot of the lawnmowers that they're selling now, they have what's called a lifetime oil engine and basically what it is is planned obsolescence so that is when a manufacturer designs something to last a certain amount of time and they do that with these cheap push lawnmowers nowadays they're basically throwaways you buy them you run them for two years without changing the oil and then that's it you go buy a new one in like two years and they don't have drain plugs on the bottom so what you have to do without one of these is you open up the dipstick and you have to flip the machine upside down to drain all that oil out and then put new oil in. And sometimes having an oil pan and it can spill, it can make a mess. And I've done that on, I believe it was my Craftsman pressure washer video where I had to flip that thing upside down. If I would have had this Pella, I could have just put the tube in, pumped it up and it would have taken the oil out and I wouldn't have had to flip the engine up. So again, you know, there are specific applications to use these. Obviously they're gonna work a lot faster on a smaller engine because smaller engines have a lot less oil. And you guys can see that we're just about halfway to where the oil is drained out because this is a six liter capacity and there's three and a half liters in the engine. So I'm guessing that uh, this is about halfway. So we should be somewhere right around here by the time we're done. So like I said, it's a slower process, but it's self-contained. There really is no mess. And once you have it drained, you just pull off your red cap here and you dump it into an oil container or you can take it to a place that disposes of oil properly. Yep, just another hard day at the office. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all of it. We're just sucking air now, so that's it. Okay, and we're at the point now where it's pretty much just starting to suck air. It's got quite a bit of the oil out, pretty much just where I thought it would be. But we have to remember that, uh, that little tube that goes inside of there, it could be coiled up around and it could be at a high spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it out now and uh, just kind of fish it around a little bit with the Pella extractor still pressurized to just try to see if we can get a little bit more oil out of there. Now this is probably the messiest part of the job is removing the tube from the inside of the engine. So you just wanna have a rag and as you're pulling it out, just kind of wipe it off and put it back into the bag. Now I kept the bag that was packaged with this uh, and it just gives me a, a nice clean spot to put the tube here and uh, it kind of keeps it nice and coiled. As for the Pella pump, this thing did its job and took out all of the oil that was inside of that engine. So I was expecting there to be just a little bit more than what ended up being removed. However, when I checked the oil, it was a bit low and that's because of the head gasket leak. So that's just from it sitting here for the past, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And the more I run it, the more it's gonna drip. But the customer wanted the oil changed, so I'm changing the oil. And I'm guessing that is the majority of the oil inside of that bottom end. Now you don't wanna leave oil inside of this. They recommend to drain it out as soon as you can. So I'm gonna remove the little one-way pump here. I'm gonna just wipe up the pump and I'm gonna wipe up the tip there. And then I'll end up dumping this into one of my oil storage containers and then go ahead and measure out 3,500 milliliters of 10W40. So I just used the Pella here on this Troy built snowblower because if we take a look at where the drain tube is at the back, it doesn't come out past that piece of metal there. Oil gets all over the access panel and that's what I mean. So you guys can see like it just barely comes out past the edge there. So 
it's a messy job when you drain them like that. So again, what I've done is I've just taken this thing, stuck it in through the dipstick tube, and I can feel when it, it's bottomed out. So that's all the way at the bottom of that oil sump, and this thing's done. Like it literally took, I'm gonna say not even a minute, maybe 50 seconds, and this thing pulled all the oil. You can see it right at the bottom there. Because again, like I said, these things, you know, they don't take long at all because they only have about, I'd say 20 to maybe 28 ounces depending on the cc's or the horsepower of the engine. So again, you know, maybe like half of a liter of oil and on the quad there, three and a half liters of oil. So again, this thing took less than a minute. I love this thing, you know, it's, it's awesome. So just a final review for the Pella 6000 oil extractor. I give it a thumbs up. Definitely recommend for you guys if you're doing like a hobbyist type of oil changes here and there. If you're trying to drain more oil, I would suggest getting either a bigger version, something that can create a little bit more suction, or perhaps even the ones with an electric motor assist to generate more vacuum. And then when you're ready to drain this thing, you just take the red little spout that they give you, you pop it on there, and then you just pour it into an old oil container. And like I said, you know, keeping this little bag here, it just makes wrapping up this tube nice and easy. I also use a couple little twist ties just to hold everything together. And they make this, you know, pretty simple where you have two little cutouts. You can put your handles, you put the reservoir, you put your pump over there and everything just kind of fits in nicely. So that's my review of the Pella Oil Extractor 6000. And as always, links are gonna be down in the description down below if you guys wanna grab one of these for yourself. I spent about, I think it was like 70 bucks and it's well worth it in my opinion. And that's it for this video. Basically, there's not much to it, guys. It's pretty simple. You just hook the stuff up, put the tube in, start pumping it up. It drains by itself, as long as you keep an eye on the pressure, because uh, like I said, every couple minutes, it will lose pressure on its own, and then occasionally go back and pump it up. So as far as performance goes, I wouldn't be using that for a car or something like, even an ATV like this, because it does take a little bit longer the more oil that's in a machine. Now, if you're dealing with a smaller engine, like a lawnmower, chances are there's only like 500 milliliters, maybe 600 milliliters, which is like one seventh of the amount of oil that was in this thing. You have to remember this took 3,500 milliliters on an oil change. I think it was 3,600 on an oil and filter change. And I believe it was 3,800 on a full engine service. So if you take the engine apart and split the case and then put everything back together, then it took about 3,800 milliliters. So again, for something like this, I don't think that it's really beneficial to use unless you're in a situation where I am, where you can't get that oil drain plug out at the bottom because someone cross threaded it in or they just stripped it when you know they tightened it up too much and they mashed the aluminum threads. But for use on a small engine, like a little push lawnmower or a rototiller or even a snowblower, this thing works awesome. I use it all the time, guys, almost every day, and it's a great product. As always, if you wanna buy this thing, I've put the link down in the description down below, and I linked it to the amazon.ca because I'm here in Canada, but I'll also try to put an international link for amazon.com. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe, and you can click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to come on back next week, check the channel out for what we got new, and as always guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>